GPT me is said to be an alternate of code interpreter of OpenAI. Though it's a great tool for CLI in order to execute code and generate code in your own environment without using any OpenAI's code interpreter, but still in my experiments, I feel that it's not as good as code interpreter. Plus it definitely requires OpenAI's API key, which is a paid version, and then it performs well. You can use it with open source model through Olama, Light LLM and Llama uh, CPP, but the performance is quite patchy and I won't recommend using it with the local LLMs. Anyway, having said that, still it's quite a good tool and in this video, I will show you how you can get it installed locally and then play around with LLM. We will be using OpenAI's key, so you would need a key for that. I will also show you the steps to use any local model. So let me log into my Ubuntu system and then we will get it installed. So this is my Ubuntu system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card and my memory is 32 GB. You would need a good memory in order to run this stuff. Let me clear my screen. In order to install this, just type pip install gptme python, press enter. And then it is going to install it on your local system. Let's wait for it to get done. That is done. Cool. Now let's clear the screen. And then in order to st uh, start using it, you can just simply type GPT me. First, let's look at its help option. So these are all the commands which are available. For example, if you say GPT me dash dash version, then it is going to show you its version. Now in order to start using it, just type GPT me on your terminal and it is going to start the new conversation here. Press enter and then this is where a user. Now I already have set my open AI's API key in my environment variable. So if you won't do that, it might ask you once you use it. So for example, now user this is you uh, which it is waiting for you to give it a response or any prompt so let's give it a prompt i'll just say implement um, python script or maybe i'll just say implement a script to reverse our list and save that script in reverse list.py press enter assistant is thinking and there you go so it has produced it and then it is asking you if it is okay to save press yes and saving it and it has been saved there now let's exit from here okay so you can exit and let me ls just to see if my file is there you see that our file reverse list is there now let me run it python 3 reverse list.py there you go so original list was this and it has reversed the list so it has not only produced the code but it has also um, the code is working we have just tried it out let me clear my screens and then let's go to gpt me again this is pretty cool as you can see and then you can press enter and it will just go with the new conversation or you can go with the past conversation let's give it a bit hard question maybe i'll just say um implement okay sorry i'll just say implement game of life in life dot by let's see So it is aware of what game of life is and remember it is using your open ai's token so have to, you have to be sure that you have ample credits there because it can go out of hand pretty quickly awesome there you go that is saving it how cool is that okay now not only you can do it like this if i just control c and exit from here you can also type it like this gpt me and then you can say in single code 
um what is the capital of australia press enter there you go so it has given us the capital of australia is canberra and it has attacked it from there how cool is that now this is one thing let me clear my screen let's go to gpt me you can use several tools with it for example we already have seen that it can um, do this thing now uh, the code execution and code generation it can do you can also say that um, can you patch this patch the operating system on this machine let's see okay so update so it says that it can't update it itself but it has provided us a perfect command so if i just press y it is going to update my whole operating system which i'm not doing i'll just say no and then it will also show you the patch applied now you can also read for example a url maybe i'll just say um that chip okay i'll just type here that maybe open the browser and access url google.com let's see if it does or not because there's no cli there you go so it has but it has given it, it is saying that there is no gui available but it can do it through cli and it has given us a code so i'm not going to open it because there is no gui with it another cool thing is that you can use a lot of tools with it as i mentioned earlier for example you can use the tools to you just uh, you know to reduce the log size or do a lot of things on the os level and now let me show you how you can run this with the local models and i have tried it out the performance was very patchy but just to complete the loop let me show you so you can run it with the combination of olama plus light llm you would need to install both of them I have separate videos where I go into detail as how to install each one of them. So please search on the channel. Once you have installed both of them, all you need to do is to pull your model. It could be any model from Olama supported list. And serve the model. Start the Lighter LM, which primarily provides you API compatible server. Just set this space. And then you can start using it by simply um, running this command gpt me dash llm local and then your prompt so you just add this dash dash llm local to your prompt and it will start running so this is how you can engage with it you can also do a very primitive fine tuning but i have tried it out doesn't work too well so i believe gpt me is good enough for code execution locally with the help of openai if you are looking to do it through cli and this tool so I will drop the link to it in video's description too. Try it out. Let me know what do you think. Pretty good tool, but with quite a lot of limitations. And I don't think so that this claim is really true that it's a local alternative to ChatGPT's code interpreter because code interpreter can do a lot and lot of things. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.